Today I'm going to talk about the strategy of abstaining. Now, the strategy of abstaining is not a strategy that works for everyone. Absolutely not. This is a question of figuring out whether you're an abstainer or whether you're a moderator and then deciding how to use the strategy appropriately. This is not for everyone. It's for abstainers. Now, I realized quite, quite some time ago now that I'm an abstainer because I read this passage in, uh, from Samuel Johnson and someone offered Johnson wine and Dr. Johnson replied, I, they offered him a little one and he said, I can't take just a little child, so I will take none. Abstinence is as easy to me as temperance would be difficult. And I realize that I'm like Samuel Johnson. It's much easier for me to have none of something than for me to have a little bit. And that's how abstainers are. For people who are abstainers, it's much easier to have none, to say never, to cut things out altogether. Whereas moderators do better when they have something sometimes, or they have a little bit, or they indulge from time to time. They get panicky and nervous if they're told that they can never have something. Whereas for abstainers, once they've decided that something's off limits, then they just forget about it. Now, one way that you can tell abstainers from moderators is how do they feel about a bar of chocolate? Now, if you say to an abstainer, I'm gonna give you a bar of chocolate, and you're gonna eat one square and put the rest on your desk, how do you feel about it? Well, an abstainer will say, oh my gosh, for the rest of the day, I'm thinking, when can I have another square and another square? I want to eat the whole bar. That's how an abstainer is. They kind of want all or nothing. Moderators often will say, I mean, it's like a kind of a sign of being a moderator is that you have a bar of chocolate in your desk, eating it square by square. And they're like, you know, I just wanted one bite. I just wanted the taste of chocolate. A little bit was enough for me. I'll have the rest tomorrow. Like so many things to do with habit formation, the key thing here is to know what works for you. Now, abstainers and moderators are often very judgmental of each other and they'll tell each other that they're doing it wrong. As an abstainer, I constantly have moderators saying things to me like, you're too rigid or it's not healthy to be so harsh to yourself or if you just deny yourself altogether, you're going to fall off the wagon and binge and overdo it. I'm like, no, for an abstainer like me, it's easier. But then I, as coming from my abstainer perspective, have to hold myself back from saying things to moderators like, why don't you just stick to your own rules? It's easier to go cold turkey. Why do you keep like um, breaking, breaking your commitments to yourself? But there's no right way or wrong way. It's whatever works for you. And so if you're feeling like whatever you're trying isn't working, try something else. If moderating is too hard for you, try abstaining. If abstaining is making you crazy, try moderating. And this isn't just for food. This is for anything where you feel like you're kind of out of control over monitoring how much you want to do something. I have a friend who had to start abstaining from the, from the app Ruzzle. It's a word game. And she's like, she had to just go, go cold turkey. Um, Facebook, some people just have to delete the whole account. Um, caffeine, have to give it up altogether. If you just find yourself spending too much time, you know, now, later, is this too much? I deserve it. I've earned it. Yet this doesn't count. All that stuff. It might be easier to just give something up. Maybe. Or maybe not. It depends on you.